So Johnston's has developed the new aqua water-based gloss system. Now with this, you get all the benefits of your solvent-based paint, which is your high sheen level, your good flow properties, but you also get the benefits of the water-based system as well, which is quicker drying time and reduced yellowing. But what's really good about it to me as a professional decorator is the fact that it feels just like your traditional gloss. During application, you may notice some slight differences how the paint applies between water-based and solvent-based. But I'm here today to show you that you don't have to be concerned about that and take you step by step through the application process so you can get the best out of this new technology. So we've all been in the trade long enough to know that the key to any successful paint finish is the preparation. Now part of that preparation is the undercoat and the undercoat plays a really important part. You need an undercoat to deliver a good firm solid foundation with really good flow. Of course that will help with your final coat on top. So if we compare the aqua undercoat against a more traditional solvent based undercoat I believe it delivers the same benefits and properties such as good flow, good opacity, but most of all, good application qualities. As a professional decorator, that's what you need. You need a paint to work with you to be easy to apply. And I think that's what you get with the new Aqua water-based undercoat. So with the benefit of the quicker drying times you get with the Aqua undercoat, that will enable you to move the job on to the next stage and put the top coat on in no time at all. So here's the fully undercoated door. And as you can see, the aqua water-based undercoat has delivered a nice, smooth, even finish which to apply the gloss coat onto. Okay, so we're gonna start the application process now. And when you're applying these paints, it's important to use a good quality synthetic brush. Now what I'm using today is a Fat Hog Duroc synthetic brush. Now using a good quality synthetic brush allows you to apply lots of paint and that's what you need when you're applying these water-based products. You need to get plenty of paint onto the surface, you need to lay it off evenly and that way you will get the best possible finish. So once we start applying this paint the first thing you will notice is how easy it goes on. It's much more like a solvent based gloss in its application. Now it's important that when you're applying it that you apply a good amount of paint and you lay off in one direction. Now while you're doing this you'll also notice that you've got a, a longer wet etch time than you would normally associate with other water based paints. I would say the aqua water based gloss system can give you a finish that you can be proud of. Let's not forget as well, it's water-based. So that means it's friendlier to the environment. It's also got low odor properties, which makes it more pleasant to work around for yourself and your customers. So I think the new Johnson's Aqua System is a really great product, but don't just take my word for it. Have a listen to what an experienced painter had to say at a recent paint trial. You can believe it. That's the best one I've used for a while. It dries quick. Yeah. There's no smell. You've got your oil based paints that everybody complains about when you're in hospitals. Oh, we can't use them in hospitals now, but anywhere else. And it's the whiteness. Because it's obviously. It stays white. That you don't get this yellowing that you get with the old, with the old solvents. Yeah. When it first started, I wasn't keen on them. Right. But then I, we did trials. We did trials for all of them. And Johnson's came out top. The application of the Johnson's new improved water-based aqua system is really impressive. It feels so much more like the solvent-based glosses we've been used to. Why don't you give it a go? I'm sure you won't be disappointed.